Hey everyone! Today, we are going to look at the machine that students here in China have been using to cheat on their homework. But to put that into context, we need to talk about the Chinese education system a bit. As many of you know, I was educated entirely in China. I would have liked to study abroad but didn't have the opportunity. Our education is fairly heavy on STEM subjects science, technology, engineering, and math, and somewhat lighter on other subjects, although a good amount of Chinese literature. We all study English, but real fluency is unusual. And of course, all this is talked with a heavy emphasis on rote memorization. There is very little discussion or debate. Your teacher defines truth. What is factual, you memorize it and repeat it back. This is actually not bad for STEM subjects. There are no Chinese flat earthers, but it obviously has significant drawbacks in other areas. This focus on memorization is kind of unavoidable since it's the only way to become literate in our language. Here's why. Chinese words are pictographs, symbols that represent entire concepts. So the word for home is a pig. See the legs there? Under the roof, from the days when livestock were kept on the first floor of a home and people lived above. Not all Chinese words are as easy to trace to their origins, and some are only used as modifiers to other words. But the basic idea holds true. You can sometimes make an educated guess how word is pronounced by the parts that made it up. But for the most part, you got it. Memorization. Lots and lots of it. So just to be able to read, we need to be able to recognize about 3,000 different characters, but there are thousands more, many of them quite similar in appearance. Many are homophones, completely different words that are pronounced the same or almost the same way. There's a version of a tongue twister, Xi Shi Si Shi Si Si Shi, or Xi Shi died at 44. That's six different characters, and even though it sounded like I said each one a little differently, someone from another part of China would say it differently from me. So in an immigrant city like Shenzhen, where people come from all over China to make their fortune, and nearly everyone speaks the national dialect, Mandarin as their second dialect, it's pretty common to have to ask someone to repeat something to figure out which word they meant to say, because Miss Wu, 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 and Wu are four entirely different people. But wait, it gets worse. See those lines that make up each character? They need to be drawn in the correct direction and order. So, as you can imagine, by the time we learn to read and write, we are already experts in rote memorization because there really is no other path to literacy in Chinese. No phonics, or anything like that. Once you've mastered the hammer of broad memorization, well, everything looks like a nail. In fairness, it is a powerful tool. A lot of what you see on this channel is just me throwing crazy hours in Chinese study habits as facts I can memorize and hard skills I can learn through repetition. I'm not talented, just studious. Unfortunately, it's a tool we often don't know how to put away when other tools are better. But anyway, being a Chinese student means endless writing, cop copying source material and repeating it. And even though writing by computer is much faster, it means you can avoid the repetition and leads to the memorization. So a lot of the time, our teachers insist we write by hand, pen and paper. Recently, some people saw an opportunity in this and started selling a machine that would fake handwriting for students. What I want to do is unbox it and see if the lessons it teaches on automation are more important than any lessons lost cheating at homework.
So pretty straightforward design. Three stepper motors and an Arduino. So it's just like a 3D printer or a CNC engraver. Honestly, great hardware for a kid to be playing with. Let's hook it up and try out the software.为什么要用呢？因为它可以帮我写作业。耶！那你这不是偷懒了吗？肯定不可以用写字的机器了，给你代写作业的了。妈妈觉得是肯定不能用的。嗯，不能用。那你这样子，你说它写了以后写字这个
in the computer it looks fine the 4i and 4w it has different width but in here they are the same because chinese fonts they are supposed to go like in all aligned in line and so i think the person who made this software thinks other this should apply to other fonts so here it goes in in english is the same now i notice the problem they are monospace just like the chinese interesting it's honestly a really well-built machine if i can find a link i'll post it in the description it would need english software though and something that handle kerning and variable width funds correctly it's just Chico, so i'm sure there are options one of the really interesting things is unlike a lot of pen plotters i've seen it has a real z axis this could vary brush pressure and so line width but they just don't seem to have enabled it it would be cool to try and play around with lastly is this really cheating on homework i think i would only consider this machine cheating if used by a parent on behalf of their child and having seen it in action i'm a bit suspicious that's what was really going on this is quite pricey for a kid and chinese parents are too nosy for us to hide something like this but what if a kid sets this up and uses it themselves? Personally, while I think patience with hours of repetition is an important tool to give children, since it practically guarantees competence at almost any skills they ever want to learn, there is a time and place for that lesson. This machine doesn't really get them out of homework. More like it gives them an alternative assignment. The essays still has to be written and setting up the machine to print it will save a bit of time but it's certainly more challenging and educational than handwriting it also doesn't help them with the content of their essay there is no plagiarism it doesn't harm it doesn't harm creative thinking and problem solving skills which is what we really need to nurture in chinese children what about western kids if you were a teacher or a parent and you found one of these hidden under the bed, what would you do? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. Please join if you can. You can afford it or subscribe if you can't. The more followers I have, the easier it is to get interesting things to show you. It's just a quick button click to subscribe and it really helps. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.